Hi there, welcome back. Dan again from Clean Guru. You know, during the year, a lot of times in the beginning of the year, people sign up for coaching programs or consultation programs, and that's great. Uh, I just wanted to point out something that I heard, and, and for the life of me, I cannot remember if I read it or I heard it. Someone said the other day, um, you need to trust the messenger before you'll trust their message. I wish I would have written down who it was. It's a great line. And I think it applies to kind of coaching and consulting. You know, if you're looking for someone and let's say someone or a coach or consultant is promoting that they, you know, build a million dollar cleaning business. Well, that's terrific. It's exciting. Uh, but on one hand, to trust that, you want to see, did they do that? Did they build a million dollar cleaning business? Secondly, did they help others? Maybe they have a track record. They have social proof of people they've worked with to help them build that. And then the third thing is you want to make sure you trust them just based on your interactions talking to that coach or consultant. So it makes a lot of sense. But today I just wanted to mention this also applies to your cleaning, right? People need to trust the messenger before they'll trust the message. So how do you do that in cleaning? Well, on one hand, you can, so, you can show social proof. If you can show through your testimonials and so on that you've done it for others, you made those customers very happy, that's one level of building trust. And the other thing I remembered is, I think it was the last video, we talked about getting a proposal in their hands. Doing that gives you an opportunity to interact with the client personally. Why is that so important? Because you need to have opportunities to build trust, you and them. It's not just enough to have social proof. It's best to have that in addition to have chances to prove your personal trustworthiness to them. And having a bid to follow up on is a good way. Just calling or stopping out. Following up on anything you promise them. I'll call you in two weeks. I'll follow up quarterly. I'm going to bring out insurance. Whatever you do, that's another great chance to prove that they can trust the messenger so they can trust your message that you'd be a good cleaning company for them. Till next time, remember, you can do this. You really can.